Hello and welcome to Tips Up 24. This is Alan in the editing studio. And what I wanted to do is give you a bit of a heads up about what you're about to see. This is going to be a rules teach and a playthrough of In the Footsteps of Darwin. Now, regrettably, these are two separate videos that we're putting together in the edit due to some audio sort of failure um, on the first part. Obviously, it will make no impact on what it is, but I wanted to give everybody a bit of a heads up if we go into it. So hopefully you enjoy this playthrough, and thanks to the team at Ashet who allowed us to record this playthrough um, and give this really good rules overview. Fantastic. Okay, so this is In the Footsteps of Darwin. In this game, we're going to be uh, helping Darwin to complete his latest book on the origin of species by drafting tiles from the central board into your board, which is a book. So the way you do this is you choose a tile from the row or the column that your boat is in at the time. So the first player will get a choice from this column. If you choose this tile, the boat will move one step, this one it will move two steps, this one it will move three steps. It is the distance away from the boat that the tile is which determines how far the boat moves. So if you took this one, the boat would move one, two, three. The next player would have a choice from this row here. You'll notice that on every tile it has a colour and a symbol. That tells you where in your board you have to play this tile. So this is a red uh, mammal, which means it goes into this space on your board with the matching symbol. You'll also notice that every tile has something in the bottom corner that is going to tell you how it will score points. So tiles with a symbol like this are going to score you just points at the end of the game. These two go together. So when you get a compass, you take a token and put it on the bottom of your board. And then at the end of the game, you will do the number of compasses you have times by the number of uh, scrolls visible on your board. Uh, there is also another symbol which looks like, looks like this. When you get one of those, you get to take another one of these character tokens. You can have a maximum of two. And they are used in two different ways. The first thing you can do with one of these is you can spend it to move the boat one step forward or back from where it's ended up. So if I before you take the tile. Exactly. So if I've landed in this row and I decide that I really want the panda, I can spend my character to move the boat one step and have access to this panda. Um, and you cannot get a third and swap it out. You'd have to spend it before. No, you'd have to spend it before. Um, the other thing you can do is you can spend one of these tokens to refresh a row. So if you don't like any of these tiles, you can spend one, take all three of these off the board, put them at the bottom of one of these stacks and then refill with three new creatures. Just row or column as well? Uh, pardon? Just a row or a column as well? So I'll explain in one moment. So um, the other symbol you need to know about is this symbol here, which is a crown. Um, so at the beginning of the game, the first player will start with Darwin. Whenever somebody plays a crown into their tableau, that person will take Darwin. Whoever has Darwin at the end of the game gets two points. Um, whenever you complete a column or a row, you get to take one of these books. They are all the same apart from the artwork, so it doesn't matter which one you take, and that is whenever you complete any column or any row. Um, the other thing is uh, covering tiles up. So in this game, you can cover up a tile with another one. So if you have at some point in the game played this red bug, and then later you decide you want the globe skimmer, you could take this tile and place it on top. The reason you might want to do that is because when you cover up a tile, you get to take another bonus. So you've started one, one each. Your bonus at the moment is to get uh, animals in the purple zone. Yours is to get birds, and yours is to get mammals. Um, so when you cover up another tile, you get to choose a new one from either the face-up selection or from the face-down stacks. The other benefit to stacking tiles is in relation to these bonuses. If these were birds, for example, this now counts as two birds towards your objective. But everything else is covered up. Yeah, so once you cover a tile, it's only any counted, bonus it's underneath only no longer that. exists. And that is why it is important to remember that with things like the scrolls, if you cover up a scroll, you'll no longer be scoring uh, that. And that's why there's exactly. the symbol. I was wondering why exactly. they don't, what's, how many you see. Yeah. That makes sense. So <laughs> when, when you take a compass, you take the token, you yeah, keep yeah. the token, whereas so when you play you can a... Cover up a scroll, you don't exactly. want it. Exactly. That is it. And that is how the game plays. So oh. the first thing... Oh, the characters, of course. Um, <laughs> so I showed you one a minute ago. Let me find them again. So in the game, you may come across character tiles which look like this. 
um, they go into this section of your board. Uh, they do not have a column bonus, so if you complete that column, you do not get to take a book. However, the characters all have two bonuses on them, so they are good as an instant bonus, but then they don't do anything else in your game and they won't contribute towards any goals, okay. apart from very specific ones. So that is how they work, um, and that Thanks. is how the game plays. That's So I get a compass. It's a blue one. Oh, and sorry. Yes. Compass. That is correct. And you take Darwin. And I take Darwin. And <laughs> that goes there. So you do it from there, so it moves one step forward. Okay. Okay. So I'll go for... <laughs> so can I only play this on that square? So I take the insect, move forward one, and I get a to fill up our book yeah. with the creatures and by taking a creature from the column the ship will move along for the next player so I'm looking for Australia to fill my column so uh, Australian lizards I will take the green sea turtle place it in my book I get the compass bonus so at the end of the game compasses time scrolls will give me an amount of points so I've taken that he moves on one the, the beagle moves on one and we put another column out. So these these allow you to move forward one extra, don't they? If you need to, if you spend them. Yes, you can move yes. forward or you can ditch all of the cards and, and, redraw. and redraw. And redraw. So you're getting end of, end of game scoring, scoring on the cards. And um, the crowns means you get the first player token, which is worth two victory points at the end. And the gentleman I'm playing with, um, Charles Darwin, stayed in his house. Yeah, in 1859. 18, so there you go. That, that, that is quite completely fortuitous and brilliant. I've got to say, I love that. Yeah, yeah. so he came for rest and recuperation uh, before he published. So there you go. Okay. Your name? Yes. John. Nice to meet you, nice sir. Nice to meet you, John. And you? Nice to meet you, Thank you. Yeah, uh, sorry. You're only going to be on our channel as well, so you, you know. <laughs> You might get recognised. <laughs> I, I doubt it. Okay. I very much doubt it. But there you go. So that's really interesting. And, and thank you for playing. Thank you. It's really, it's quite it's more playable than I thought it would be. Yeah, yeah. Actually. Yeah. Uh, so, anyway, so I'm going to go for a bird. So it just moves along. Yeah. And then we can replenish the tropes. Oh, hey. It's a platypus. So I could do with, right, so. There's someone there that I could do. Uh, so you could move forward one if you want to, you could do Yeah. So, she said if you cover up that, do I lose a compass? Or does that stay? I can't remember that. Mm. I can't remember. Quick, quick, quick question. If I cover up the kangaroo with the... Um, with another one, do I lose the compass? You do, right, okay, thank you. Right, that's that's fine, right. I'm gonna take the lizard there, one, two, three, move the beagle, place another. I'm gonna get that little fella. 
that's two. That's two. So then we have that. So I'm looking for really. I'm going to take that for three. Two, three. I'm not getting my I'm not getting my blue birds, which I need. Um, so you could replenish the three cards if you wanted and then draw from that. Yeah, I think I think I'm going to. There seems to be a lot of stacks. Are we just taking from all are we taking from all of the stacks? It's just these ones. Uh, that's, that's your, okay. Oh, okay. Right. No. No. <laughs> ah. Oh, okay, him. I really want to do them all again. No, I'm going to take. Move forward one. I'll take from that row possibly. Uh, I'm going to take the yellow lizard because I get another person back. Okay. And he moves on two. And we replenish. I got that scroll there. What does the scroll do? So yeah, that's compasses times scrolls. So I should have got compass. Yep. So yeah, compasses give you compasses scrolls. Just is just the multiplier. All oh, right. Okay, so um. So I'll go four. Yeah, just a yep. question. When you get a scroll, do you pick one of these up? No, is that you when get you get one of these when you publish a thing? So if you fully research a continent or a species, perfect. I Thank you. Thank you. The scrolls and the in-game scoring for the compasses. Lovely. Right. Okay, that makes more sense. I'm not filling up my columns very well at all here. I'm going to go through the yellow giraffe. Put that there. Move it three. Blue lizard. And I, I've already got two people. I, I've got two points. So. I should have three compasses. Going to go one person forward and take a lizard and I've got continents. Oh wow, so you, I think you get one of these. Uh, how many? So that's two, isn't it? One, two. So, yellow bird, for one, I grab Darwin, that goes out, there we go. Okay, fine, so I want to go for the red bird, okay, one, two, That's what I, exactly what I needed. So I'm taking that for the two points, move it on two, and I'll grab one of those. Oh, wow. That's two, that's two, I've got compass. Well, the people are quite rare, aren't they? So, can I? Yellow. Yeah, right. I'm going to. I'm going to spend one of those. Because you get two points straight away. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of all of those three. And hope I can get a yellow beetle. Nope. Yeah. I think I'm going to go for that one. So, I wonder if we're playing with. Are those tiles meant to be included? Is it just the ones that we had? Okay. You should end up with 12 tiles. Okay. Ah, right, okay. So we don't fill all the. Ah. There's limited tiles. 
So I may never, I'm not, I'm, I may never finish my yellow foot. Yeah. So I'm gonna take that one. That one too. So I'm going to take him. Uh -huh. Yellow bug. So I publish and I grab that. He goes, goes on one. So, do we keep playing to all of us? We should have eight. I've got 12. I think that's the end of the game as well. Yeah, have you got 12? You've got nine? You've got, you got 12? 12, what, sorry? Uh, tiles. So. Okay, right, okay, final scoring then. So, first of all, Compasses times scrolls. So the first thing is points in the corner. Okay, okay. So I've got uh, three, five, six, seven. Points in the corner. Points. Okay, so it's one, three, five, six, seven, nine, eleven. Okay. And make yours fifteen. Oh wow. Withdraw, fire and Oh, right, okay, let's start. Okay. Compasses times scrolls. That's one compass, one scroll. So that's a point. Oh, two scrolls. Two, that's two points. I've got one, two, three scrolls. Three compasses, nine points. Uh, I have ten points here. Ten points. Four points. Oh, no yellows, no. Um, although, I think you should have another bonus because you've stacked a tile. So do you want to just pick up the red one retroactively? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Get that four points. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Um, people? So that's just if you have Darwin. Yeah. I have Darwin, so I get two. And now you have all up. Right, here we go. On camera, maths. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> 32. 15, 17, 27. 34. That's 30, so 29 okay. Good game. Oh, thank, thank you, John. No, thank you. Thank you, Blake.